Alright guys, welcome to the vlog. So, today, we are going to Gingerman Raceway up in South Haven, Michigan. It is, grid, it is grid Life Round 3, and this is the Midwest Festival, so it's the biggest event of the year. I'm super stoked on it. Um, it's my first Grid Life event, and I'm hoping to do pretty well. Um, I know I'm not going to podium, but my PB here is a 144.4. So, from what I hear, that's like pretty quick for an S2000 with no aero and stock power. Um, so I'm hoping to break into the 143s. If I can do that, I'd be pretty happy, but the podium cars are going to be running 38s. So, I don't really have a chance of a podium this year. This is okay. This is just a feeler event for me. I'm not trying to like take home a win or anything like that. I just want to have some fun. Um, I'm just kind of going there just to hang out and for the environment and... The time attack is cool. I just want to see what it's like because next year I should have a different car um, that will be a little bit more competitive. So we'll see what's going on. Um, that's not to say that I'm going to get rid of the S2000. I just have another car somewhere else that I'll tell you guys about later. So yeah, for now, um, I guess enjoy some B-roll and I will see you guys at the track. <laughs> We have ran into a Jackie Ding, everybody. Um, here's his car. Say something, Jackie. Hi. Go. Bye. Go. <laughs> so we are waiting in line. There is a line that goes for days. You guys are supposed to be going on one grid too, right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's smart. Well, the spring is a good idea too. That, yeah, that's not too bad. I was gonna do a zip tie. <laughs> <laughs> if it works, it works. Okay. Right? Hey, I got you. All right, so we're out here, All right, guys, I'm going lining to up for Ginger Man, so and there's like a million cars just stacked for miles. All right, let's run them right here. So Ready? yeah, it's one o'clock right now, uh, and we have a drive. We have to be on track at two, so which means that we have to do a driver's meeting. Ooh, and we're going. Okay. Well. Okay, so as I was saying, um, we have to be on track at 2. It's currently 1.10, and we ha I have to unload, I have to go to a driver's meeting, I have to dial in tire pressures, I have a lot of stuff to do, and we're still stuck up here. We just moved up a little bit. Yeah, this is not ideal. There's a Lotus just chilling right there. Okay. Um, yeah, still a fat line. Good life people are just moseying down the road. I don't know why we can't get in. Gates were supposed to have opened at 12, and it's obviously not 12, so I don't know what's going on. In so yeah, um, I don't really know what's going to go on. I'm just going to wait here, I guess. Uh, there's nothing else I can really do at this point. Hopefully our session does not get pushed back, but if it does, that's okay because it's currently wet out, and I'd rather not drive in the wet in this car because it's really sketchy. Um, S2Ks, even in the dry, keeping them in a straight line is a task. So in the wet, I'm, I would just rather not. So if we get the session pushed back, I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll let you guys know when we're in. All right, so it is currently 1.50 and I'm still waiting to get in. Um, I got in my car and registered already, so I got all my wristbands and stuff. Um, but I have to be on track in 10 minutes. <sighs> so I don't know if this is going to happen or not, if you guys posted. Alright, so, good news, I made it in. And I got situated, everything's set up, I got my chair, I'm chilling. And I actually already went out for a little bit. It was weird, because I thought it was going to be like sessions. Um, but it's like an open run group, so all the time attack guys today at least have just been going out whenever they wanted to and We were done at 6 instructors are out right now 
and then we're gonna go back out at seven o'clock. It's disgusting right now. I'll tell you why. So, well, let's do a walk, little. Let's do a walk around real quick. So the car goes, it's all stickered up, and it's filthy, muddy. Like, look at this. It's because it's it's like soup over here. Looking very race car with my grid line. Let's get the front. So like I said, I've already been out. And the car just feels very mushy. Um, usually like, you know, my Miata, it feels very planted. And this car, it doesn't. So, I mean, it's it's fast. It has, it has the speed and it'll put down a, a decent time. But it just, it's not confidence inspiring at all. So, I'll have to figure something out because I don't, I can't. I can't keep doing this. It's just, it's not a good feeling to drive this car like this. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to keep it on track more than anything right now. And obviously the weather's not in our favor. Um, with it having just rained, the track is very slick. All the rubber's kind of washed away. So the track has like very little grip. I was only able to put down a 147. So, and that's, that's, my PB is a 144.4, right? So I have a lot of improvement to do, and if I even want to break my PB, it's not going to happen today. It's, pro it's, it's going to have to happen tomorrow because that's our best bet in terms of weather. If I can't do it tomorrow, I think just the track is not going to be grippy enough. And also I just, you know, so changes from last time I was here are I drilled the valve cover. Um, I did the rain hater mod. If you don't know what that is, it's basically you just drill holes in it to let oil down so it doesn't smoke. Because um, going through turn 10 here at Gingerman, I'll insert a clip right here, um, it smokes out the back. So I fixed that, and um, now it seems to be okay. But I'm having a problem that it's throwing a check engine light, and I'm not really sure why I okay that's a lie I scanned it and it's misfiring three cylinders are misfiring and I don't know how that's possible because unless there's still oil going into the cylinder and causing it to misfire somehow then I have no clue what it could be maybe just old coils but like it's just weird it just shouldn't be doing this so um, I don't know I'm just living with it I don't feel it in the car but it's just throwing a code, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep driving it. I don't really care. There's nothing I can do about it right now, anyway. So it's fine. I might go to AutoZone and get some spark plugs, and see if I can just change them and see if that helps anything. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, the last mod that I did so far is I put on the NC Miata rear sway bar. Uh, the last time I was here, I did not have a rear sway bar at all. So. The car definitely feels a lot tighter in terms of transitioning. Uh, low speed corners are better, less understeer. Um, but again, the car is very nervous. Like it constantly wants to, you know, it's just the rear is very floaty and, and very loose. So I'm gonna make some damper changes um, and see with see what that does. I'm just gonna crank them almost all the way up, but not all the way up. It it feels good in terms of ride quality right now. Um, on the track, but it's just very soft. So I'm, and it's surprising to me because the spring rates that I'm running are, th I'm running 14K, 13K in the rear. So it shouldn't be this soft, and I have a big front sway bar, so I don't know. All right, so here I'm looking at timing, and right now the fastest street rear wheel drive car, which is in my class, is a 142.5. I'm sitting at a 147.0, which is not very good. My PB is a 144.4, so I could possibly podium if I can match that PB here. Um, because let's see, the next street rule, yeah, I can I can podium. So, guy in third place for street rule of drive, Brandon Johnson, he's in a 350Z and he's running a 145.3. So, if I can hit my PB, I can podium, which is really weird. Um, I did. I was not expecting that at all. Obviously, the track is pretty slow today, because I know people have PB'd sub 40 in street class. So 
the fastest street car right now is a Evo, and he's at a 141. So this definitely gives me some hope that I'm just not driving completely horribly. You know, obviously there's room for improvement always or always is, uh, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what I can do. I definitely think tomorrow I'll be able to push a little bit harder because. I'm not running on a lot of sleep today. I, I might throw some footage up of next session I go out. Just to see if I can find any any good like close matches in terms of uh, on-track battles. So if I can't do that, then I probably won't bother because tomorrow I'm probably going to be a lot better anyway. So. Thank <laughs> you. 